Yeah. Is it that right yeah, troll right or whatever? Right yeah. Right okay. right. Yeah, exactly. It's on the right. Yeah, I've seen that right. in Newberry News. Through 117? Yep. Are you going to pass 117? There's 117. Yep. Come down here to the first black top and you go this way. Where are you headed? He wants to go to Curtis and go over to that sawmill where we were at. Hold the Amish? Yeah. That's definitely not it, John. <laughs> you know, if you cross 117, That's you're dirt. on dirt. Yeah. Yes. Okay, left to right. And you, you go, go left. Past. You go left, you walk there on top of the hill on the right side. Okay, so you'd go left, left right, right here. Let's talk to him. Now we are out at the Daniel Nice uh, sawmill here, where we uh, will get some uh, slab wood, or some live wood for the fur. Um, it's a great uh, Amish community, but unfortunately the Amish don't want to be recorded too much. This is what my project is about, making it out of the scrap. Hey, Daniel over here, he gave us all this for free. We took all the ones that just like the first piece you cut off the tree, that you can't really use for ports. He uh, milled, how much was it he said he milled last? 40,000 feet. Yeah, 40,000 40, feet of uh, wood that he milled by himself in his little wood mill here, I'll show you in a second. The Amish are hardworking people, uh, I believe so, they must be, you can see all the wood he has here and he also have livestock. We got it now and it's going to be fur for the troll because I really like it when there is a little bit of clay in the, in the fur. So it's not just one color of boards, but it's like multiple different colors, like my beard where you get a little bit of uh, grey and a little bit of brown. I originally heard about Thomas Dambo from my niece. She's actually traveled to several states and seen his trolls. And as soon as they said something about Thomas coming, we were really excited about being included. And so when it happened to be birdhouses and we got to go and help Friday, that was fun for us. Well, I was thinking then to put some of them like here, some here, and some here. So this triangle of trees, and that'll be the little colorful birdhouses. Yeah. <laughs> you could have put a big G on it. It was easy for it to grow on me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good thing. Trolls in the Upper Peninsula is a very specific meaning for us. We have to cross the Mackinac Bridge, the big five-long bridge, to get down to the lower part of Michigan. And so we say that anybody who lives below the bridge or south of the bridge is a troll. So when we have tourists come up in the summer, they're trolls. So <laughs> building a troll here is right, fits right in with what our culture is currently doing. So that's a great, great connection. Yeah, right. The table is all the best. Well, right, right. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I heard about uh, Thomas Dambo's trolls when I was uh, in Copenhagen, Denmark. I studied abroad there for four months and uh, did a troll scavenger hunt and found about three of his trolls outside of Copenhagen. My favorite that I remember was uh, Little Tilde. Left my job a few months ago and found out that the way of the Bird King was coming to my little state of Michigan. I thought there was no better opportunity than to come up for a whole week and volunteer with the team and, you know, cut some wood and put a troll together. Victor was done way before you. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I'm pretty small. So, man. <laughs> All those trains that I built in Argentina, it's just gonna be a little bit tired, man. What did you say? Just me to choose one maple. Most step. Most step, yeah.
this is how it should work, right? He, uh, he can like fish with his beers, beard, so he can like talk to the fishies and help solve the mystery of what's wrong with the water. Yeah, we have to figure out how the beard is gonna look. So what I often do is that I, <clears throat> that I'll take a photo, oh, and then I'll draw on top of it so that uh, I'll try and make a beard that will sit like how it looks in real life. Then we'll have the beard come up here behind the ears. So that's a whole lot of beard. How long is that? That's like three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like an eight, nine meter long beard. Let's see how far they are with the getting the maple sticks. Perfect, you started moving the branches. But you know, this is the, the, it's not this pile, it's this pile. Something so like that. make it long while putting a lot of pieces together. Yeah. Yeah. I think we shift, we should shift it a little bit more over there. Okay, now it's starting to look good. We are joined by the artist behind the troll, Mr. Thomas Dambo. Now we are in Jim Fask in the UP in Michigan, where we are building Benny the Beard Fisher. He's uh, fishing in the river right down here. Mr. Thomas Dambo, thanks so much for the time here, talking about the, the soon to be revealed. We're all excited about this secret troller coming to Teller County. Soon. Thanks so much for the time. So many people working. I think we have 30 people working today. We are cladding. We are putting the snakes on the body and we have all the volunteers over here cutting triangles and making all the fur ready so that we can get that beautiful live edge with the bark on it that we got from the nice Amish guy that we can get that on and I think that's going to look really awesome. Unfortunately, I won't be here myself because I'm going to Fargo to do my uh, talk so my wife is coming to pick me up in a little bit and then I'm actually going to be gone for the next two days until I'm coming back here Friday and then when I come back here Friday the sculpture will be finished. Um, yeah, so I'm just... Gonna roll straight in and drink the beers and take all the shine. Yeah, big, big more. tomorrow I'm going to Fargo to do the, um, the art talk over there for the TEDx. And of course, I'm a little bit nervous if I can remember everything. So now I will give it an attempt here in the, on the staircase into the toilet. Ding! This is Lille Tilde. Lille Tilde stands behind a tree in the outskirts of Copenhagen, where I live. Ding! No, that was wrong. I had a farm in Denmark. <laughs>